Today we're going to show you how a shock absorbing lanyard can protect your body from a violent stop in the case of a fall. We're going to drop Wentz from a high location and compare the forces exerted on his body using a regular lanyard first and a shock absorbing lanyard second. Let's get up there and cut him loose. All right, first we're gonna start by performing a drop using a regular lanyard. Pay close attention to Wentz's body as it comes to a violent stop as he reaches the end of the lanyard. Okay, according to our dyno, looks like Wentz suffered 2,520 pounds of force. Let's try the same test again, but this time using a shock absorbing lanyard. This time, Wentz only had 1,300 pounds of force exerted on him, which remains below the OSHA-regulated maximum resting force of 1,800 pounds. Looking at the falls again, notice on the left how the fall is decelerated because the stitching of the shock-absorbing lanyard slowly tears as it falls. After a lanyard has been subject to a fall, it must be destroyed and thrown away. Remember to always inspect and adjust your harness and lanyard before each use, and inspect your anchorage point as well.